Okay, the key to this problem is understanding that parallel lines have the same slope. Now, here is the original equation along with two other versions that are all equivalent. Every one of those is this green line right here. So all I did to find the slope of that line is to solve for y by adding 3x to both sides. So 2y equals 3x plus 10. <coughs> and then dividing both sides by 2, every term. So y equals 3 divided by 2 is 3 halves. x plus 10 divided by 2 is 5. So this is what we call slope-intercept form. The slope of that green line is 3 halves. We say m equals 3 halves. And the y-intercept <coughs> is the point with x-coordinate 0 and y-coordinate 5. And we call that 5b. y equals mx plus b is what we call slope-intercept form. So any line like this, that has a slope of 3 halves, will be parallel to that green line. If we can find the place where that line intercepts the y-axis, we'll have the equation of the line that passes through 0, 7. Well, 0, 7 actually is the y-intercept. So for the second line, we want b to equal 7. So y equals 3 halves x plus 7. Let's actually go to Desmos and see it happening. So here I am. I'm changing the value of B. And you can see the black line is parallel to the green line. And when I get B to actually be right at 7, the black line passes through the point 0, 7. So your equation is actually Y equals 3 halves X plus 7. There you go. Now, if we had a different point to go through that wasn't on the y-axis, then you'd have to use point-slope, the point-slope formula, which is y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1, where x sub 1 comma y sub 1 are the x and y coordinates of the point that you want the line to pass through. Uh, so taking using that form, uh, we'll leave for another day, a discussion another day. But if you have any questions on the original problem, uh, feel free to post a comment. There you go. Hope that helped.